block party? An asymmetrical VR experience. Place blocks on the grid and have them appear in VR. Interact with the blocks in VR and have the real blocks light up right before your very eyes. Have immediate physical feedback of interactions done in VR to the real world. An interactive blockscape and a hopeful toolset for future ideation. Hear more from the hackers themselves. I have vivid memories of making Legos with my dad and I had just like the coolest Lego sets. I knew that I wanted to maybe explore the idea of something in the physical world affecting something in the virtual world and the virtual world also affecting the physical world. What is the practical application of this, right? Rather than just moving cubes around. I could see like if you were an architect, perhaps making models, um, if you were to put screens on these cubes, then you could even, and right, it's like the person in VR because you can have them see anything. You can put animations, right? The cubes can actually represent something else, whatever you wanted. So the VR experience and the real life experience had to be equally enticing. VR allows for wacky things to happen, so might as well take advantage of that. We are using an ESP32 as the microcontroller, which is a fantastic microcontroller. It has a lot of connectivity built into it. We have this ESP32 that has a uh, serial terminal open and can listen to commands over Bluetooth. It'll tell you like the, the board state of where all the cubes are placed on the entire board. Each of the stacks have like its own individual LED channel assigned to it. And as far as executing that, so we've done is we've basically built a board that has a bunch of um, copper foil here that transmit power and data. And then the cubes detached from the board, they also have copper contacts with copper tape that was provided by the organizers. And uh, they have, you know, data input and power input, and then they have an LED that can be turned on and off. 